The following program is a presentation of Metro Beat TV, Comcast, and Channel 8, connecting you to your local community. Our world, a relatively small planet that's home to an ever changing mix of people and cultures, creatures, and environments. While we marvel at the amazing diversity in the world, what's important are the connections that we have with each other and this place we call Earth. One of the best ways to appreciate the differences and connections that we share is to have the world in your lap. A decade ago, Paula Turco was a successful corporate communications and marketing executive. She took a one-year sabbatical to travel and photograph the crafts of indigenous women around the world. This resulted in her first book, In Her Hands, Craftswomen Changing the World. When she did this book, she formed a strong connection to the culture and spirit of the people of Guatemala and kept going back. Her latest book, Viva Colores, a salute to the indomitable people of Guatemala, is a culmination of 10 years of meeting, photographing, and documenting the lives of people who only recently emerged from a devastating 36-year civil war. One of the first things that struck Paula G. and Turco about Guatemala was the role that color plays in their society. Color is an expression of feeling and belief and viewpoints, and really a manifestation we finally discovered of the vitality and valor of the Guatemalan people. There are flashes of pinks and purples and really a cacophony of color that assaults you when you go to Guatemala. You find it in their houses and in their weaving and in their bicycles and everywhere there is color. But it was the people and their spirit that truly impressed Paula. They really are indomitable. Despite 36 years of civil war, despite awful poverty, which really affects many of the people of Guatemala, somehow, these are people who have found ways to endure and gain strength, um, I think because of their kinships, which are very close, um, their spiritual lives and beliefs, their traditions. Through words and photographs, Paula introduces us to but a few of the indomitable Guatemalans that she met. Alida Perez grew up in a town called San Antonio Aguas Calientes. She was part of a family where the women for generations had been weavers. So she began selling it to tourists who loved it. It was immediately a wonderful success. Then over time, she began noticing that the taste was becoming, was changing, people's taste was changing. And she was concerned that people might lose the traditional weaving. And in order to sustain it, she started a little museum so that it will be protected and there will always be a history of the traditional Guatemala weaving. Julian Mouche came back to his village, Parasha, after the war and there was virtually nothing there except experienced farmers and fertile land. And he used both. He started a farming cooperative they expanded it, it now includes 40 surrounding villages. And Julian is an interesting man. For example, he is raising nine children alone, he's a single father, and also he borrowed 28 medical books and studied them. So he's now the de facto doctor for everyone in the village. For Paula, her books are about bringing people together. Her first book, In Her Hands, Craftswomen Changing the World, made connections in surprising and rewarding ways. I discovered that someone had given a book to children in Zimbabwe, little girls who were so poor and whose family budgets were so limited that they couldn't even afford to buy underwear. They looked at In Her Hands and decided that they could sew their own, having as an example women all over the world who were making things with their own hands. You know, I have great dreams for these projects. And it's always the same dream. I hope that we can come to understand people whom we don't know personally more completely so that we can begin to work together to tackle the problems that face people all over the world. 
Paula is donating all of the royalties of Viva Colores to the Pava Foundation, a nonprofit organization that works closely with rural communities in the Guatemalan highlands. While